What if Bitcoin became the world's only currency? The idea of Bitcoin as the world's sole currency is bold, fascinating, and filled with possibilities. No more confusion over exchange rates, no loss of money to fees, and an entirely decentralized financial system. But is it practical? Could this vision unite the globe in financial harmony, or would it introduce chaos and inequality? Today, we'll take you on a journey to explore this speculative, futuristic scenario and its enormous implications. Bitcoin is a digital currency created in 2009 by an anonymous entity known as Satoshi Nakamoto. Unlike traditional money, Bitcoin isn't tied to any nation or government. It runs on blockchain technology, a distributed ledger system that securely tracks transactions across a decentralized network. What makes Bitcoin stand out is its finite supply. Only 21 million Bitcoins will ever exist. This scarcity is in sharp contrast to fiat money, which governments can print in limitless amounts, sometimes resulting in inflation. Bitcoin was designed as a global, censorship-resistant digital currency. But could it scale up to replace every national currency? Let's explore this wild possibility. Imagine a world where every country uses Bitcoin, a single global currency. The concept seems convenient at first glance. Traveling would become seamless. No more stopping to exchange your dollars for euros or yen. International payments for products and services would be swift, cheap, and hassle-free. For businesses, this could eliminate exchange rate uncertainties, simplifying their operations. Bitcoin's decentralization also eliminates the need for intermediaries like banks or payment processors for financial transactions. Theoretically, the world would operate on a level playing field, transcending national boundaries and making money truly global. But this rosy picture comes with complexities. Let's dive deeper into the benefits and challenges that this scenario could bring. First and foremost, the convenience for individuals would be revolutionary. Imagine booking a flight to another country without worrying about currency conversion rates or foreign transaction fees. Prices worldwide would be standardized, so you'd know exactly what something costs, whether you're in New York, Tokyo, or Cape Town. For businesses, especially those operating internationally, the benefits are just as exciting. Trade could flourish with easier cross-border payments. Companies wouldn't need to navigate exchange rate fluctuations or pay steep fees for currency conversions. Small businesses expanding to global markets would have far fewer hurdles. Bitcoin's foundations offer financial freedom. Without central banks or governments controlling the supply, people would no longer worry about inflation caused by reckless money printing. Bitcoin's fixed supply ensures stability, at least in theory. This could prompt governments to focus on economic productivity instead of relying on currency manipulation to manage economies. Bitcoin could be a game changer for the 2 billion unbanked individuals worldwide, those without access to traditional financial systems. All you need to participate in the Bitcoin economy is a smartphone and internet access. By bypassing the barriers of banking systems, it could empower the economically marginalized. Despite these benefits, adopting Bitcoin on a global scale introduces serious hurdles. One of the biggest is volatility. Bitcoin's value can skyrocket one day and plummet the next. Imagine trying to buy groceries when the price of bread triples overnight. This inconsistency makes it hard for people, businesses, and governments to plan their finances. Bitcoin's underpinning technology, blockchain, comes with a staggering environmental cost. The network relies on miners who use energy-intensive computers to validate transactions. If Bitcoin became the only currency worldwide, its energy consumption would rise to unfathomable levels. Could the planet sustain such energy demands, especially with a growing focus on renewable energy and climate change? In theory, Bitcoin promises a fairer financial system, but in practice, we have to consider inequality. Wealthy individuals and large corporations already control a significant portion of Bitcoin's supply. This concentration of ownership could translate to a new form of financial power. Additionally, many regions, especially developing nations, still lack consistent and affordable internet access. Would Bitcoin unintentionally exclude those it seeks to empower? 
Central banks play a crucial role in traditional economies. They issue money, control interest rates, and stabilize economies during crises. If Bitcoin became the only currency, central banks would lose their ability to influence monetary policies. For example, during recessions, governments often inject money into the economy to stimulate growth. With Bitcoin's fixed supply, such interventions would be impossible. This rigidity could deepen economic downturns, leaving populations vulnerable. Money isn't purely functional, it's also cultural. National currencies often carry symbols of identity, pride, and history. Euros, dollars, rupees, all of these currencies are more than just paper or coins. They represent the sovereignty and shared heritage of their nations. Would transitioning to Bitcoin erase this cultural aspect? Would people feel a loss of connection to something that's been part of their lives for generations? While it might seem like a small sacrifice, losing national currency identity could have an emotional impact on societies. Bitcoin's reliance on digital systems introduces a new layer of vulnerabilities. Cybersecurity threats such as hacking and fraud could destabilize a global system based entirely on Bitcoin. Though blockchain is highly secure, no system is entirely invincible. Moreover, if governments cannot regulate money, criminals could exploit Bitcoin's anonymity for illegal activities like money laundering. This raises the question, could Bitcoin's decentralization make global financial systems more vulnerable rather than more secure? While the idea of Bitcoin replacing all currencies is speculative, some countries have moved in that direction. For example, El Salvador made Bitcoin legal tender in 2021. Citizens can use it alongside the US dollar for everyday transactions. The experiment has shown mixed results, with some praising its innovation and others highlighting its risks. El Salvador's case provides valuable lessons. It demonstrates how Bitcoin can work in small-scale economies while also revealing challenges such as its unpredictability and the uphill battle of winning public trust. If Bitcoin were to become the world's only currency, the transition could be chaotic. People in nations with unstable economies might welcome it, while those in wealthier countries might resist. Governments could push back due to fears of losing control. Meanwhile, businesses, banks, and individuals would need to adapt rapidly, and not all of them would succeed. A poorly managed transition could lead to economic turmoil, particularly in countries unprepared for such a dramatic overhaul. Bitcoin represents two sides of the same coin, pun intended. On one hand, it could unify the global financial system, eliminate inefficiencies, and give individuals control over their money. On the other hand, it could disrupt economies, divide nations, and exacerbate inequality. Would it lead to innovation in a fairer world or simply shift power into the hands of different players? The answer lies in how such a system would be implemented and managed. While the prospect of Bitcoin as the world's sole currency is intriguing, it's far from being imminent. Many hurdles, from technical and environmental issues to public trust and adoption rates, still need to be addressed. Moreover, governments are unlikely to relinquish control over their monetary systems anytime soon. Instead, a more likely future might involve Bitcoin coexisting with traditional currencies, serving specific roles like cross-border transactions or as an investment asset. Bitcoin as the only currency presents both revolutionary possibilities and daunting challenges. Its global adoption could simplify trade, empower the underbanked, and unify economies. Yet its volatility, environmental costs, and implications for government control are significant hurdles. Ultimately, this speculative scenario invites us to rethink how we view money, power, and the future of our global economy. Would a Bitcoin-dominated world thrive or falter? That's a question we may not answer fully today, but it's certainly worth exploring. So, what do you think? Is Bitcoin the currency of the future, or is it a step too far? Let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more from History Twist. If you have an idea for a video, leave it in the comments below.